Pace is one of the most necessary requirements in the modern game and Paul Parker is blessed with more than most. He's versatile too, although Fergie was mildly concerned Queen's Park Rangers were using him in a central role. But his full-back performances for England convinced the manager. And this panoramic view of Old Trafford went some way in convincing Parker to sign for United. We've gone out of the pitch on the Saturday afternoon in the middle of the summer. Or, you know, it was the middle of the summer, just before our season started really. And there's about 2,000 people sitting in the stadium, all around the place. And he couldn't believe it. He says, what are they doing there? I says, they do that every summer. Just come and sit and watch the grass grow. So a few of them started shouting, hope you're signed for this, Paul. And he went up, he says, he went like, yeah, I'm. that made his mind up. I couldn't believe it when I come in. It was a, I think it was a must say there, but at least a thousand people just actually sitting there watching it. But I mean, I talked to Arsenal and Spurs before I come here. And actually, the time Terry Venom was manager at Spurs, and he knew I was coming up here, and he, you know, he begged me not to come up because he knew I wouldn't come back then. And I, I mean, as soon as I got here, regardless of anything, it could have been two pence a week, I would still come here. I mean, I'm not one of those flamboyant ones. I mean, my, my asset is the fact that I you know that I'm reasonably quick, and I can tackle. And I, if I weren't doing either one of them, I don't think I'd be any use to the side. So, but at the end of I've got good players, you know, like like Sparks, Sparky, Giggsy, Eric, who can all do unbelievable things with football. So let them do it, really. If it comes to tackling or anything, you know, then, I mean, that's my main thing, really. Now McGoldrick. Merson's jogged into the centre. Right, taking on Palace from beating him. Can he find Merson here? He does. But this time, it's Paul Parker on the spot. Now, that is great defending. First of all, it's superb skill. He leaves Gary Palliser standing. But watch this for a defensive tackle. Absolutely superb from Paul Parker. Dog with a bone, Paul Parker. He wouldn't let go. Parker, no way back. Oh, great skill. Beautiful football from the fullback there. And they're going forward in a long line again, the red shirts. Five of them up. Cantona in the inside left position. This is McClare. And on goes Parker. Yes! It's Paul Parker. 58 minutes gone. Great little ball from McClare that put Parker in. And a good finish. I was on the phone. Oh, Mr. Busby. Mr. Busby. You tried the one, you tried the one, your phone in the, in his, his private phone, going down, uh, it was last year. He says, I'm somebody for the such and such a newspaper. I'd write an interview with Ryan Giggs. So, right away, I says, How did you get his phone? How did you get his number? Oh, I've got it somewhere. I don't know who gave me it. I said, you have no chance of getting an interview. Why not, he says. You know, and he starts, no, I twigged right away. I just twigged it. And I'm ready to explode down the phone to this guy. I turned around and I saw him on the phone. I says, hold on a minute. And I went, I'm whacked him in the back of the head. <laughs> He's never off the phone. It's a disease. 